Hello, welcome to another episode of Camper Van Cooking with a guy, a chick and two bullies. As you can hear behind me is the sea, it's high tide and we are presenting this episode from the sea. Early this morning John was down at the beach, we came across some of the local Coffee Bay fishermen out catching some crayfish and uh, some mussels and we were lucky enough to get some oysters as well. Going to just have a look at what we are going to be cooking today, which will be done on an open fire. We call it a braai, other people call it a barbecue. We've got some very, very nice fresh crayfish, which we are going to just put on the coals on a, on a braai grid. We've got some oysters that are opened and eaten with some Tabasco and some lemon juice. And then we've got our favorite, our mussels, which we're also just going to be doing on the barbecue. We've had a look at the ingredients that we are going to be using for our recipe from the sea. I have passed these over to Mandy, who's taking care of the cooking of the rock lobster and the uh, mussels. And I'm going to be preparing a rice dish, a savory rice dish, which will be used as an accompaniment to the fish. I'm going to be adding a blob of butter to my already hot pot. allow this uh, butter to melt and to this I'm going to be adding a mixture of green peppers, onions and mushrooms. Not too many, just sort of like a pot about that size. And then after adding the uh, mushrooms and the onions and the green pepper I'm going to add a little bit of garlic to that as well. I'm going to add my ingredients. and we're going to allow those to simmer. While we're waiting for the ingredients to simmer down, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background to Coffee Bay. A lot of the uh, people here are unemployed. They have no means of an income. So what they generally do is they fish for rock lobster and mussels and oysters. They either sell them to the local hotels for money or they sell them to the tourists or the people that stay in Coffee Bay camping. It just generates some income for them so that they're able to feed their families as well. Let's have a look and see how our ingredients are doing for the savory rice. They're simmering away nicely. I'm going to add the rice now and we're going to mix it together. Just mix the ingredients in. I'm going to add a little bit of spice for rice as well, which makes it very tasty. And that is spice for rice. And we're going to mix that in. The rice is cooking. I'm just going to pop the lid on and we're going to go over to see how Mandy is doing with the cooking of our fish. Hi Mandy. Hi Tina. Thanks so much for coming to assist me today because I really don't like touching these cretins. Oh, well, so. if, if you like to eat them, you must like to cook them. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how uh, hot must the fire be to cook a rock lobster? Tina, the hotter the fire, the better. Um, you can always take them off if your fire is too hot, but you can't wait to now build the coals up again. So it's best to get a nice hot fire going to start with. Okay. And how long do these take to cook, Mandy? How do you know when they're ready? I can't tell you how long because that depends on your coals, but certainly when you see them going a nice pinky orangey color, then that's a good indication that they're ready. Okay. And, and what do you normally serve with, with rock lobster or? Uh... Like this on the fire, um, straight off the fire, a little bit of garlic, butter and lemon would be delicious. A little bit of salads, a little bit of uh, savory rice, whatever you've got going. And if okay. you've got nothing else, you just eat them as they are. So now tell me about the crayfish. Um, are they cooked yet? Well, Tina, if you, if you look at this one that is nice and orangey there, and you look at this one that's still a bit dark, mm -hmm. 
that one's about done. Okay. And this one here actually needs to be turned and it needs to go a touch longer on the other side. Okay. Unfortunately, he's curling up his tail, so I'm going to need to hold it down a bit. Okay. Okay. But yeah, pretty much I would now say I'm going to crack the um, tail, open it up, and then I'll put a bit of lemon butter garlic in there. They've cooked in their own juices. Um, they're not going to be dried out, but the minute you start opening them up, the, the chances they'll dry out. So the lemon butter and garlic will stop that okay. and add the fla extra flavor. Cool. And I see you've put some mussels on. How, yes. do you, how do you know that these mussels are edible? Well, first of all, the mussels, you keep them in some water. If you notice that the shell opens, then don't touch it. Okay. You can, you can get really sick on, on shellfish. Okay. As long as the shell is closed, you're good to go. Okay. Now, notice that this one is opening. It was, right. was, is that uh, fine yeah. to eat? Absolutely, because once they on the coals, they will steam in, the, in their own juice inside. Okay. And once it opens like that, that's actually telling you I'm ready to eat. Okay. So that'll be good to go in a very short while. Um, that's still got some way to go. So let me add some more. Okay, let's pie. see how you do this. you don't want to add water to this so you need to try and make sure that you are getting the water off okay. otherwise you're just going to dampen your coals okay. and, and that's really not going okay. to be much good. All right, and as cool. we go we can just keep adding them and when you see that they are decently opened yep. then I'm going to ask you if you could help me and I'll just put them into something and we Excellent. can take them off. You okay. can keep them warm on, on the coals okay. or you can eat them cold. It's, cool. it's you could even add them to your savoury rice. Excellent, wonderful idea. So we, we, wonderful we can do idea. it in different ways. Okay. And you can see that the natural juices are coming out of it a little bit. Yes. So we haven't lost any of the sea flavours. They're all still there. And we're just going to add a little bit more of extra flavor okay they're quite they're quite nice to eat just exactly as they are you don't really have to go and add anything onto them it, it all depends on your palate can you eat this or is there enough meat inside there to eat or not, not really re not okay. really not really as, as as a poor student in cape town we would buy these and suck them out but it's okay. a messy job okay. and uh, there's really very little that you're going to get out of those. Now while we've been doing our brying or our barbecuing here, we've had a couple of young people walk past, um, very interested in, in what we had to offer and had absolutely no idea how to cook crayfish. So Mandy very kindly showed them and uh, hopefully they will enjoy from the sea tonight as well. Right, this I think basically ready to come off and I hope I don't disappoint you that they sure cook you won't Mandy look delicious I'm going to put them on the plate okay. shall we make it look good yes and we'll turn them over we're plating up the crayfish now some of the mussels on it as well as you can see they're really really gorgeous thank you Mandy what a feast wow that's a nice granddaddy very Hopefully beautiful. Look at the through. color of these of these uh, lobsters. They're really, really lovely. All right. Can you manage and that? And there you, know? you have it. Beautiful, beautiful rock lobster crayfish from the sea here in Coffee Bay. We've cooked everything other than our oysters, which we've put onto a separate plate. You can see they've been beautifully opened. And they will be served with some Tabasco and lemon juice. We're going to be plating our dish now some lovely savory rice our crayfish which has been basted with uh, lemon and garlic and our beautiful mussels that have been steamed on the barbecue 
And that is from the sea at Coffee Bay. For this recipe and others, please visit our website www.saroadtrip.com. Cheerio for now.